Okay guys, I'm here again. Um, I was asked to show how to do a force regen uh, with the Insight uh, program here for a Cummins. Um, so if anybody's doing this, they've already had a little bit of uh, working with Insight. So as I sit right now, the ignition key is on. I'm already connected to the ECM. Um, on the left side of the screen here, you go to your ECM diagnostic tests. Click on that. And then it pulls up a bunch of other things. And this is where you can do a little bit of other testing and get in a little bit more. Um, what you're going to do now, you're going to go down to look for your after treatment diesel particulate filter regeneration. Um, you'll go down there. Um, I like to do the analyzer, but it don't make no difference for this part of the video. Once it's highlighted down on the bottom right hand corner, they'll be next. It'll come into here. Um, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. Um, under your instructions, you can go down and it'll tell you all the initial conditions that have to be. Truck's got to be at idle, vehicle stop, parking brake set, so on and so forth. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, we're going to run this. So what I'm going to do now is start the truck, obviously. Truck started now. So now it's parked. Um, and I'm going to go down to the bottom there and click on the start button. It'll go through here and give you a whole bunch of stuff. If you want to read it all or not, I'll tell you what the do's and don'ts and all that other good stuff of what's going to happen here. Um... And they said then when you go through it, when you're done, click on the yes tab. And automatically it'll kick in, start doing something. It'll show you all your values there to monitor it, what's going on, the whole nine yards. And it'll run um, all on its own here now. Don't hit the brakes, don't hit the throttle pedal, don't hit any of the switches. If you hit any of that, it'll kick you out. Just let it run its thing. Um, when it's done, it will kick out, idle back down to a normal idle. And then you're pretty much done. You'll be able to back back out of the system, the screen here. You know, do whatever else you want to do. Check your faults, all that kind of good stuff. Um, now, when you do a force regen like this, you cannot do a regen if there is a fault code. You have to fix all the fault codes in order to do a regen. It won't. It'll prompt you saying that there's an active code or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it is, but. If you have a code, it will not let you do an active reach or a force regen like this. So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, it's pretty self explanatory if you've uh, dealt with uh, inside a little bit. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have any other questions about it, anything like that, or if there's anything else you want to go, me to go further in depth on, or something else you'd like me to go in depth on, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, I'd be more happy to try and help you out. Other than that, thanks for watching.